ko yan. On the way na kami ha! Have a list of people that we would take a bullet for them, a bullet for you, a bullet for everybody in this room. But they don't seem to see many bullets coming through. See many bullets coming through. Metaphorically, I'm the man, but literally, I don't know what I do. I'd live for you, and that's hard to do. Even harder to say when you know it's not true. Even harder to write when you know that tonight there were people back home who tried talking to you, but then you ignored them still. All these questions they're falling like, who would you live for? Who would you die for? And would you ever? So ngayon, andito tayo sa San Ildefonso Parish kung saan mag interview tayo ng pari ngayon. Tara! So, Andito na tayo ngayon sa loob ng San Ildefonso Parish. Alam nyo ba na bago tawag yung San Ildefonso ang bahay na ito, ito ay tinawag na bulak dahil maraming puno ng bulak dito. At itong San Ildefonso Parish naman ay itinatag noong 1885 at ang pesta nito ay pinagdiriwang tuwing January 23. Dito rin natin makikilala ang pari na i-interviewin natin. Pero bago natin gawin yan, ay tignan muna natin kung gaano nakaganda ang parish na ito. Pang ilang ayos, ngayon, ayos, 
Sabi ako okay lang. Okay. Ay, ano, 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 saan, 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 saan yung mga lugar na po kayo na isinagpon na? Yes, yes. Una ko sa Fatima, sa Valenzuela, tapos sa Deacon din. When I became a priest, I got transferred to Malolos. Sa team ministry ng Malolos. And then, that's the minor basilica of the Immaculate Conception now. Tapos, I became the prefect of this team in the seminary that we have, yung high school seminary. We call it the minor seminary, Immaculate Conception minor seminary. Four years, and then I got uh, um, assigned again to Malolos as the assistant secretary to Bishop Alvaro, the Bishop of uh, Malolos, during that time. And then uh, I became the parochial vicar in uh, Paco, Ubando, also part of Pulacan. And then uh, I became Paris Peace for the first time. Um, I pioneered the place, and uh, that was my first time also to become the Paris Peace. This is in Karohatan in Venezuela, daughter of uh, my first assignment before. And then I, I was assigned there for 15 long years. Tapos dito naman sa San Indifonso, this is my, uh, I've been assigned here for a little over than five years. Um, yung pagiging pare po, ano, ano po yun, parang ginusto niya po, or, or ano po ng family po? It has been my childhood to, to become a priest, so. Well, as in kung wala po ito po, parang? Oo, oh, nung bata pa ako, naging interesado na. Because also the influence of uh, my family, my mother, more especially, she so, so was a chess being, a regular chess scholar, every single day she goes to mass. Tapos sa KB din din namin yung mga pari. They were all kind of people also. Ang mga 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 So, I'm just going to ask what is the difference between a pastor and a priest? A pastor and a priest, here in the Philippines, when you say pastor, you mean someone who is from a different faith. Like the Protestants, the born again Christians. But in the States, when you say pastor, that means a parish priest. So any pastor would be the the one assigned to the parish, shepherd from the from the Latin word uh, also is uh, which means uh, shepherd. So any priest also is a pastor of sorts, but when you use pastor as that uh, term um, which is uh, uh, the one assigned uh, to to manage the parish. All of a sudden, it, it defines the meaning of the pastor. So usually in the states, when you say pastor, that's the parish preacher. Uh, other than the pastor, there are many priests who are associate pastors. Um, in the Philippines, when you say pastor, it could be the parish priest and uh, the other assisting priests or parochial figures. So, so uh, during your days in the seminar, do you consider to start failing? Yeah, there was a... Uh, yes. Um, I finished my high school seminary and then uh, I just wanted to try one more year in the major seminary. This is a college seminar already and I had plans to go out. But because I chose uh, Bishop Ted Bakani to be my student director, my plans changed, so I decided to go at the distance. So I became a priest, thanks to him also, through his guidance, to the guidance. So, 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 Father, if you don't have any mass or meetings, what are you going to do? I'm usually involved in uh, the other parochial activities. For instance, uh, we have a workshop where I also supervise uh, my resident uh, carpenter, resident uh, iron man. And when, when it comes to the process of the seminary, I've also been bitten uh, very, not really very recently, but for some time now, for at least 10 years or a decade, by the bonsai man. So <laughs> sometimes I, I go to the shop and uh, my gardeners will be there also. So, 
I'll be doing good things at the same time. I also like music and the sports. <laughs> Because uh, um, we are more pro-life than anything else. Because yung, yung RH, kasi, marami siyang mga sinasabi na against uh, naman sa Catholic teaching. This is uh, the teaching also of the Bible. So, pagdating sa RH too. Kasi yung, yung, even our constitution is against RH too, if you come to think of it. Because our constitution apodictically states that it should protect the, the, the state should protect the life of every Filipino from the moment of conception. So, yun siguro nagiging problema ng iba. Alam nila yung conception ay yun lang yung wala. Yung talagang fully developed na yung Filipinos. Pero sa church, when you say conception, that's the first thing. Conception. For instance, si Mama Mary, yung Catholic conception niya, she was the one conceived by her mom, St. Anne. So, December 8th, that's why we celebrate the birth of Mary nine months after. So, it takes nine months for a child to, to be born. So, the whole period, the whole nine years, so the whole nine months, yun yung, yun yung conception stage. Or, pero may isang word na pwede gamitin yung bang, yung bang, yung birthing process mo. Yung, yung, yung last year years. So, nasal, yung na, last year. Yung, yung, pag, papanganak sa isang tao, it doesn't happen sa araw na. Isang process yun. Nine months yun. That is why, you must have a Korean friends. Pag ilan tao kayo na lang? 19. So, when you ask uh, a Korean friend, how old are you? So, sabihin nila, here in the Philippines, I'm only 19. But in Korea, I'm already 20. Kasi plus one sila. Bak bakit? Kasi, pag pinakalaka, isang taon ka lang yun eh. Siyang nabanggan ng ating tao. So, yun lang ang porto ng simbahan. Yung tao na, ang dutuod sa atya. So, that is why we, we stand at an organization to really promote life. Kasi pagka gumamit ang Albertopatians, kanya, yung buhay na you're, you're killing the, you know, you're killing the child already. It's life or it's life. Kaya nga, pagka nagbuntis na, ang isang Pilipina, ito sinasabi natin, nagdadalang tao na siya eh. Sabi na yung baksi, dugo lang. Di saan sila yung nagdadalang dugo? <laughs> o kaya, hindi naman daw tao ka dahil mukha daw ang butiki. Meron ka mga nagiging nagdadalang butiki. <laughs> Alam niyo ba yung joke dyan na uh, yung may pupuntang Amerikano sa Makabebe, Pampanga? O then siyempre, uh, Makabebe, Pampanga. Kailan lang yung Pilipino, magugulat ko yung Pilipino sa Indisa. Ang tanong ng Amerikano, how long does it take to get to make a baby? Sabi ng Pilipino, nine months. Nine months, that long? Well, sometimes seven, sometimes eight. So, nine months. Asa dyan pa ng tao eh? So why would you not defend the life of that human being? The state, our state, defends it, yung life na yun, from the moment of conception. So yun lang ang pag-usapan natin, wala lang tayong problema. Conception to. So hindi ka pe pwedeng gumawa ng laban sa Pilipino, kahit asa dyan pa siya. Tao na yun, sagrado ng boy, ng Pilipino yun, kapatid na. Tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-tata-
This is our war against addiction, not against the addicts. No. So pagdating sa mga addicts, kailangan din we exercise enough counsel. Wala na ba talaga ang pag-asa to? So we must hate the sin, but love the sin still. So naman natin kamulian yung kasalanan, yung kasamaan ng addiction dahil maraming pinipisa ng buhay ito, buhay nila mismo, at buhay ng maraming mga tao because of dahil yung hindi spend so they could commit when under the influence of drugs, di ba? So, but still, we must Tulad na sinabi ng Panginoon, hate the sin, but love the sinners din. So, parang yung gospel niya, I was able to connect it sa gospel natin. Nung wala yung isang lupa, hindi ba yung siyang natin siya para sa aking isa. Pero pagka sinabi, oh, wala nga na ako, wala namang kwenta yan. It's the transporter into the nature of Jesus. E dito nga, kaya niyo kinuwet yun, hindi ka yung parable ng prodigal son, or the parable of the prodigal father para ipamukha gising sa kabutuhanan ng mga tumutulig sa asa kanya. Bakit na kayo halubilo siya? Bakit isa mo siya? Mga mga salanan yan. Mga publikano yan. Mga drag addict yan, ba't mo sasamahan? Kung during our time, tayo, magkakasalo tayo ganito, si Cristo din, bukod sa asalo tayo, may ipo pa siyang asalo, mga addict kasama din yan. Dahil kaya siya na palito para iligtas din sila from their addiction, from whatever sins that bother their lives kaya sila nakapalit sa Diyos. So, napalit sa Cristo para sa mga magkasala. So, hindi para, oh, pwede lang pala yun. Okay lang. Si Jesus kasama ng mga rin. Yung mga sinamahan ng Jesus, lumayan sa kasalanan nila. Sabi niya, inubos si Diba yun eh. Sabi, hindi rin kita ikukunin. Sabi niya, nung sa isang babae, Malaki ka salanan na ulit sa Lord Kevin. Neither do I condemn you, but umayo pa ako ng magkansala. So yung gusto din natin sa mga dragatik sa atin, iwanan na nila yung masama natin. Pero of course, yung process, yung process pa rin. Kasi you cannot be hasty about these things. Kaya kung balik ako sa lugar na naraman mo yung mga magbabas ng Uh, dito naman sa lugar natin dito, um, maraming sumuko din and uh, we have been um, expressing our, our willingness to help them. Pagkating doon sa spiritual aspect, meron niya kang hantang ganun, sumba-sumba, magsumba-sumba, magsimba-simba para mabuhay pa. Doon kami sa simba-simba at bukod doon, we're willing to give away. Tulad doon sa mga sa, sa opo sa amin, sa family or anything group sa amin, Meron din sila ang kinakasa na kung may seminar, we will communicate with the mass, sama kami na kung dalawa kami pare dito para to support them. Ito yun yung misahe ng Panginoon. So, pwede yung iba, they have written you off, pero sa Panginoon, they cannot afford to lose any single one of you. Yun tayo eh. Diba? Doon tayo pa rin. Huwag natin gakalimutan yun. While we are dito sa campaign against drugs, yung mga addicts kasama pa rin na hindi yung kapatid pa rin natin, alam pa rin ng Diyos yan. At gagawin natin ang lahat para maibigas. Yung, yung agripay kasi, gaano hindi sa katoliko. Pero nung nawala na sila ng connection doon sa Roma, they started to their own bishops. After yung una talaga yung si Agripa, yung paring pari dati yun. The way I, I remember it, pati siya ang bispo eh, kaya yung ibang naor din niya, valid pa rin ordination because he was a Catholic. Uh, kaya there was a time even when the other sacraments that the Empire Church um, conducted, hindi natin ang opinion sa ito kasi mga pari talaga hindi ito ang stand. Pero now they are talagang umiwalay na talagang kung mga naroon sa usapo, tapos sa mga sa yung ating, yung simbahan kasi natin, iisa lang yan eh. Catholic Church sa Roma. Ay, tingin mo yung mass. It could be in another language but the same format. Following the Roman Misa. So, nung wala sa kanila yung, yung, yung connections, support natin si Pope Francis. Tsaka, they could marry na sila yung mga divine priest. It is allowed to get married. Okay, that's not all. Um, 
bakit po sa Amplify, inaalaw po kayo mag-ulap sa Einstein? Diba? We do that. I have a... Uh, I need to do that. It's the ball of the Asia or the Philippines. And dito naman di alam ko. Pero we may Sunday for the boys, Sunday for the girls. Pagkakalam ang buong big catholics and allow them to serve both sex of servers at the end. So ayun, nakilala na natin si Father Dennis Santos at ang brief history ng San Ildefonso Parish. So that's it. Live from Bulacan, we're signing off. Viva, guys! Paning hay naman dyan. Oh. Oh, ang ganda, di ba? Pero ito pa, may isa pa akong trivia para sa inyo. Hindi ka sundan nyo. Alam nyo ba, na ito ang mga nasa kaliwa ko ay mga dating pare at madre. Di ba sa sanaan? Ah. <laughs>